was enough of that. I've been jamming all morning. Hey guys. So today, I know I promised, or oh, I didn't promise, but I said I was filming with my brother this week, which was not a lie. Kinda was, but I, I was like, hey, like let's film, and he was all like, yeah, let's do it. And then like the time came, and he was like, nah, I wanna do it. He had a rough week. He had a basketball game yesterday, and yeah, it's just, I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna pressure him. To, I'm not gonna make him do something he doesn't want to do. So instead, we're just gonna do a get ready with me. Um, all right. So first, we're gonna go in with this moisturizer. It's Bionix Platinum Essential Day Cream. Now, there's a story behind this moisturizer. I was at the mall, minding my own business, shopping. I was actually shopping for my friend Lexi's um, birthday gifts. So. I was like maxing out cards, you know, spending my money. And you know those little kiosk guys? Well, he basically pulled me in and was telling me about this cream. And I was like, oh, I really got to go. And, and he was like, no, no, no. Like he was Russian or Persian or something. I don't even know. But he pulled me in and he starts talking to me. And he's like, how old are you? You're very pretty. And I'm like, thanks, I know. Um, and he was like, you know who would like you? is my girlfriend. She would really like you. And I'm just like... Bro, take a step back. And like he was super sweaty and gross. He was just, ugh. he was just not. It wasn't the hat, but he basically was like, you need to try this cream. It's really good. It'll make your skin even more beautiful. And I was like, it's not possible, buddy. But, and he thought that was hilarious. But I was really just trying to be an asshole so I could leave. But uh, he ended up talking to me for like 45 minutes because like I was like, oh, I don't want to walk away. Because I'm the type of person to where it's like, I won't like, I don't give under, <sighs> I kind of give under pressure, but like I don't want to be rude, I don't want to just be like another a-hole who's just like, nah dude, F you, like I'm trying to leave. So I stayed there and he basically took my card out of my wallet and swiped it and I was like, I don't know how much is on there because it was a credit card and I basically maxed it out and he was like, I'll give you the best deal ever. So he gave me this like, I don't even know where, I think it's right here, this stuff which is Radiance Repair Peeling Gel. Um, I don't know. This could basically be Cetaphil in a bottle. I don't, in a fancier bottle. And then this, like, Jill, like, peel-off mask. I don't know. I haven't even been using this because I just don't. Um, but this moisturizer, I bought it. It was 60 freaking dollars. So you damn well I'm gonna use this. Anyways, back to makeup. Next, I'm gonna go in with the Lancome Lattes Pro. Oh god. So basically this concealer is like not concealer. Why did I just say concealer? I was looking at my shape tape. I don't know why. Anyways, this primer is so good. So basically it's pretty it's not super expensive. It's like 40 something, which that's kind of expensive, I guess. But you have to let it sit. It's like like a paint primer basically. Is you put it on all over and you have to let it sit for a couple minutes before you put your like makeup on because if you do it won't like withheld well with holes do it hold it so I normally just put on this this primer and then I do my brows and yeah so I just put it all over my neck too because I put makeup on my neck I know shocker everyone freaking does it and my ears Ugh. when people touch my ears so yeah, basically all of the face and then, yeah. Okay, <clears throat> now that brows are on, I'm going to now go in with my Born This Way shade Bonilla, Bonilla in um, the Too Faced Born This Way, like I just said. And um, I've been putting on, I've learned with my foundation I would literally just like squirt it on my face and like that's a big no-no because like that's a lot of product that your girl can't afford sometimes. So we're just going to put this on a little brush and this is actually better for your skin too because you're not gooping it onto your face. I mean I'm still putting a lot because I like to cake, 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 cake it up because who doesn't love cake? Um, but yeah. So I just put this all over my face, a little bit on my neck, chin, jawline area, and yeah, okay. So 
that's that. And then I'm gonna do like a little spritz of Fix Plus. And yeah, I'm just gonna dab, 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 till it's all blended in nicely. Do not forget your ears, ladies. I know the neck was like a big thing, big controversy about having the line and everything. People forget their ears and it's not okay. Cause it's like, your face is looking like a nice glowy beach day and then your ears are looking like a winter storm in Nebraska. So yeah, don't forget the ears. I mean, now I'm looking like a winter storm in Nebraska because I'm so white, I have not gotten my spray tan yet, but <laughs> after today, that will not be a problem. Also, I get my hair done tomorrow. Super excited for Vegas. In, we're good. Mm -hmm. All right, next I'm going to take my Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. Sorry, Jeffrey. And we're gonna take the two lightest shades right here. And they have been used and abused. I've only had this palette since like December, so yeah. And we're gonna just prime the eyelids with both shades. So it just gives it a nice base. Okay. All right. Next, we are going to take. Anyways, guys, uh, you already know my feelings about Jacqueline, but yeah, we've just we've been used and abused. This, she's she's a warrior, to say the least. Oh my god, it was out. Okay, but yeah. Um, I don't even know what I'm gonna do, honestly, so we're just gonna we're gonna dive in. I really need to I remember the names, but I don't remember all of them. I'm dipping into these two right here, which I've been dipped into a lot, and we're just gonna create a little bit of a crease kind of. But it's just the base for the crease, so yeah. A lot of people do makeup differently and it's just it's amazing to me because some people do their eyes first which if I'm going out like I'm going out and I'm like gonna do my makeup like do my makeup do my makeup then I do my eyebrows first eyes second and then my skin to follow but like just for an everyday thing if I'm in a rush I do everything for my skin first which I'm going like a little bit out of order because I'm trying to do this somewhat all right now everything that I have learned is like self-taught I mean other than watching YouTube videos and I learned a lot of my makeup from my um, my old dance coach her name's Stephanie um, she taught me a lot because she had to do her makeup for every competition and that's what really got me into it um, I did not start off that well though let me tell you my eighth grade year I was I was dark you guys I was dark so um bronzer was used as face powder yeah face powder all right now that the base is done i'm gonna go in with this shade right here with the m441 more brush so we need to put in that And create kind of like a darker crease. I still don't know what I'm doing, you guys. I'm just diving in. Bar, this is what we got. Okay, now that 
that that's done. Well, the eyes are not done, but now that that part is done, I'm gonna go in with the Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH32, and I'm going to, I'm gonna go in with this color right here. I think it's Roxanne. I'm not 100%, do not quote me. I don't love her. Whoa, that's a lot. Okay, we're just gonna take it slightly into the inner corner, but really we're just gonna kick it on, build on it on the outer corner. Now, this is what we should be getting to. Back to the moisturizer in the beginning. Once that is out, which it needs to be out pretty soon because I'm kind of tired of using it, it just, it doesn't even feel expensive. It just feels like, I already said, like, sort of feel in a bottle. Are there any suggestions about a really good moisturizer? I used the Clinique one. I used the gel one first, and then it was just too much because I didn't like the feeling of like cream. Oh, I hate that word. But like, I don't like the feeling of lotion on my face, if that makes sense. I want something that's hydrating. I used the gel one from Clinique, and then I went to the lotion, but now it's just, it's not doing it. It got used to my skin. So, I don't know. Any suggestions for moisturizers, leave them down below in the comments. I will be super, super grateful because, yeah, my skin type is a mess. That's what that is. Um, yeah, so if anybody has the skin, con um, the skin type of a big fat mess, let me know what moisturizer you use because your girl needs some. Like a good one. Now, I would say money is not an issue, but it definitely 100% is. So, yeah. Alright, now I'm going to take the Jaclyn Hill JH33. And she's dirty, but don't mind. <laughs> We're going to lightly spritz her. Like a magic wand. Okay, I'm going to go in with... This color right here, this coppery gold, it's next to the gold, that, that one right there, I'm going to go into the cap. And I never, I don't like putting shimmers on my lids. I mean, I do because they look pretty, but at the same time, they're just like a big fat mess because they just, like no matter what, you're going to have a little bit of fallout with every eyeshadow. I don't care who you are, I don't care what you say, like you're gonna have fallout, which I'm not hating on this palette. I love this palette, obviously, but you're gonna have a little bit of fallout. And then I hate, cause I'm trying to nail like a cut crease and I always carve that out on my eyelid and it always, no matter what, if I keep my eyes closed for 15 minutes and I open my eyes, there's gonna be concealer on my, on my own top, like right here, there's gonna be. So it's been so hard to try and do a cut freaking crease because I just want it to look good, but my eyes are playing games with me. All right, now that the shimmer is on, we're gonna move on to, I, I wasn't gonna do this, but now I really wanna do this, is I'm gonna put the gold on like the, the high point right here, and like make it like that. So I wasn't gonna do this, but now I am. I do what I want, fight me. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm sorry, I'm using a mirror. I'm not skilled in the viewfinder. But I will be! Give me time! Give me time, you guys! Just give me time. That's all I need. Time is everything. Remember that. Time is everything. Now, I was going to do this just as a high point, but honestly, it looks so pretty. So, I'm just going to put it all over my face. Okay. Now that's over. I have some fallout. It's not crazy. I don't know why I'm give, giving this a review. I, everyone knows how this palette is. It's been out for five ever. Now, I'm going to take my tarp. <laughs> Shape tape. <laughs> name a better concealer. I dare you. Name a better concealer. In the comments, name one. Because, nope. It's not, nope. 
Mm-mm. All right, and we're just gonna put those all over. This is even whiter than my foundation, if you can believe that. My lighting is not that good, guys. Sorry, once again, I'm apologizing. But you know what? I heard a quote, it was yesterday, from one of my dear friends, Ashley. And it said something about don't apologize for saying no. You're not like, it's not your fault, you know? Like, you're not, I don't know what the quote was. <laughs> But it was something along the lines of don't apologizing for saying no if you can't do something because it's not your fault. Like, things happen and that's that. Yeah. So, what I do is I take the same brush that I take. In this case, this brush came in a set, the Morphe set. So, it's blue and has pink bristles. But I just take, like, a cute little concealer brush. That's what I put my foundation on with. And I take my concealer. I wet it with Fix Plus. And I take my concealer and I basically just carve out the sharpness that I want with this brush it takes like two minutes less than that it's just something i do i always do this i always have done this um i used to use tape but that hurts like tape hurts so you gotta learn to just this is actually easier too like you just take your brush and just like And it gives it a nice little like sharp yeah yeah so that's that and then yeah I just move it all over my face and then we just take this and we we work with it I love this it's probably really sick and perverted but I just love this just on my face mm. All right, now that that's done, I'm going to bake now. So we're gonna add a little spritz spritz to the fix plus. And then I'm going to take the Kat Von D Locket Translucent Powder because the La Merce, that like, that drives me, that dries me out, first of all. And I don't need to be more dry than I already am. Remember, skin combination, mess. Yes. We're just gonna take that locket powder right there and we're gonna bake a cake. All right. Speaking of cake, that sounds so good. I haven't had like a sweetie in so long. I've been trying to eat healthier. Like this morning I made a smoothie and it was like apples, almond milk, cinnamon, pumpkin seeds, Greek yogurt, and like it, I mean, I'm full, like I'm not complaining, but I'm just saying like, I've been eating so healthy and like, it's been good because your girl went from a size eight in pants to a size four. So I went down like two sizes, three sizes in pants. So it works. If you work out and you eat healthy, losing weight, it works. It happens for you. All right, now that I look like a crack whore, <laughs> um, we're going to take the Morphe, these are from, this is the new brush set from Morphe with like the gold and the black. I got these from Christmas from my friend Mallory. We're going to take the shade and light palette and we're just going to bronze. Oh, I'm taking these two by the way because no. Not yet. When we have a spray tan, me. Actually, yeah, we could, but yeah. Just going to put this all in my uneven hair my forehead I like us white girls we gotta we gotta bronze these we gotta bronze it because we don't have dark foreheads our foreheads are at like the top of Mount St. Helens <laughs> they're white well when it has snow on it wait does it have snow on it I don't even know but it's just like a snowy mountain up there so we gotta we gotta yeah I don't even know what's going on right now I I neglect my hair for my makeup. There, I said it. I said it. I'm not even gonna do 
do it after this. Nope, it's going up in a bun. Don't forget those ears. Do not forget those ears. <sighs> but yeah, guys, I, um, yeah, I'm just doing makeup and gonna go probably get that Morphe foundation. Um, go home, pack for Vegas. I'm so excited. We're staying at the Orleans. We're gonna go for a jams competition, which I am extremely excited for. I love Las Vegas. I've been there nine times. This will be my 10th in Vegas. Mm, so excited. I love Las Vegas. Now, it's not about like the drinking and the partying, which people do. It's not like a <gasps> unknown thing. Like, yeah, people do that. But like, I'm 19 years old, so like, I've been going since I was in eighth grade. So, and I would go like twice a year. I would go in January and I'd go in May because for dance competitions. But like, there's so much to do there, even for, like, a kid. Like, you can go shopping, which I love to I love shopping. Um, there's shows. There's, like, a museum. There's a mob museum. There's, a, like, a Raiders museum because the Raiders are going to Vegas. Um, there's a lot to do. There's, uh, there's restaurants. Like, you can go eat. All right, before I go too overboard with this bronzer, I'm just trying to make me look even, you know, because, yeah. before I take this all off and have for my spray tan. All right, that's that. Oh, the under eye! We have to do the under eye! Oh my god, who forgets that? You're too much, you're too much right now. I'm basically going in with the same shade that I used to like darken my crease as soon as the base was down. But yeah, just doing that. But yeah guys, I'm super excited for Vegas. I'm super excited to film. Um. My editor Marcus is going, my friend Val's going, my friend Carly's going, yeah I know. Her name's Carly, Carly Nicole, just like moi. But um, yeah, it should be a fun trip. It's the first time I'm going to Vegas by myself. Um, let's see, let me see. All right, JH40 right here. And we're gonna take like a mustardy brown from the, from the palette and we're just gonna cover my bags because I have those <laughs> I'm really trying to save my money and that's been it's been rough guys because I want things but I can't buy them all the time like it's nice to have money but it's even better to save it all right that's about as good as it's gonna get Next, I'm going to take my Urban Decay Glide On 24-7 Eyeliner in the shade Torch because I just feel like doing this, so I'm going to do it. I do what I want. Oh, God. Oh, God. I got to be careful with eyeliners because sometimes they get on my contacts and it's not okay. I want to like get in there so sorry I have to get in there for a minute I do want to use the James Charles palette right here and I'm going to take I can open it. this pinky shimmery shade that he uses for blush well he uses it he puts on like his 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 con he contours and he highlights and then he adds this well I'm gonna I just finished contouring obviously and then I'm just going to take this on the Morphe. This came in a set as well, so it doesn't have a number. But it's like a little blush brush, and I'm just going to... Oh my god, that's so pretty. <laughs> We're just going to put it on the apples. Oh, mm, Chrissy taking cheekbones! Okay. This transform you into Chrissy, guys. I'm just kidding. No, it doesn't. I wish. All right, next, I'm going to take the Morphe Babe in Paradise with Bretman Rock. Love him. 
a little too excited there. Um, I'm gonna take vacation, but I'm gonna take vacation and get laid, and I'm just gonna mix, 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 and we're just gonna make magic. Wow. Wow. <laughs> And on the nose. Now you probably were like are noticing that I didn't do my well I did I did contour my nose. But I wasn't like specifically like because I'm not like I'm not going out out guys. I'm just this is just like your everyday glam and I don't do lashes a lot just because I don't know, I don't like I feel like I have nice lashes like by themselves. So I'm gonna take the voluminous lash paradise from L'Oreal and Put that on my eyes, but you don't need to see that, so just everyone and their mom knows how to put on mascara, so BRB. All right, all of that's done. Ugh. Oh, it's right here. The Morphe Continuous Setting Mist Spray, just a little drizzle. Next, I'm going to take, well, finally, I'm going to take Blushing Beige. Okay, I'm trying to find Baddest Beige, the one that she talked, Jacqueline talked about in her video, but I can't find it anywhere. So, does she mean blush Beige or is Baddest Beige? Uh, blah, blah, can't talk. Is Baddest, is Baddest Beige a color? That's what I want to know because I've been looking for it, like, a lot, a lot, a lot. All right, we're going to go in with Blushing Beige to finish off this look. So nice and smooth. There we are, guys. We are done. We finished this video. Um, go ahead, like, subscribe, follow me on everything Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram. Um, I'll be out with a new video next week. Um, yeah, it'll be my Vegas trip. So it'll probably be two or three parts. But yeah, thank you for getting ready with me this morning. And I hope to see you guys soon. Or I'll see you in Vegas. Bye.